What's good? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy Matthew Shack live here in Los Angeles. Welcome to Matthew Shack Unfiltered. Had some tragic uh, news today, uh, twice. First this morning, found out about uh, Jalen Ferguson for the uh, Baltimore Ravens passed away today at age 26. And then maybe uh, a little while ago, across the wire found out that uh, former uh, Ravens legend, Tony Saragusa, uh, passed away today at the age of 55. And uh, so sad day for Ravens flock out there, man. A lot of y'all, man. I, I got a lot of Ravens flock in, in my life, man. My wife's from Baltimore. My, my best friends are Ravens flock. Uh, some of my closest friends are Ravens flock, in-laws, uh, homies. All y'all back in Baltimore, man. All y'all in West Baltimore, East Baltimore, Baltimore County, Baltimore City. Uh, just want to give my condolences, man. Uh, in regards to that, man, to have two players pass away today um, uh, who were associated with the franchise. Um, we'll start with uh, with uh, Jalen Ferguson, 26 years old. Uh, he was found today by uh, Baltimore PD. Um, not going to speculate what can happen. There is some speculation uh, in regards to the report that I read, um, but uh, we'll, we'll let uh, we'll let forensics and um, you know toxicology report and so on and so forth to get to the bottom of that. Um, just to have somebody 26, man, I'm like, damn, man. Just these kids aren't even making it to 30, bro. It's just, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. And then Tony Saragusa, uh, who as a player, I couldn't stand Tony Saragusa, man. Tony Saragusa, man, was a nightmare for my Raiders. I remember in Oakland, uh, the season that uh, they won in 20, uh, 2000, when they won the Super Bowl uh, against the Giants, and they played us. And uh, Tony Saragusa not only sacked Rich Gannon, he basically pancaked, fell on top of him, which is now a personal foul penalty in the NFL, but it wasn't back then. And Rich Gannon was out for the remainder of the game and we were done. I couldn't stand him, man. I respected him as a player, but I couldn't stand him. But hey, man, that's how it is when you are preventing another person's team from, from getting to the promised land. But once he retired and he was doing the sideline reporting thing, man, I liked the dude. Uh, very funny, very gregarious, uh, wonderful sense of humor, man. His timing, his 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 uh his his, his sense of, of of clapping back and his analysis on the sidelines was always warranted when he was watching those football games man when he was uh doing the sideline thing uh, you know uh rest in peace to uh to both of those guys and uh our sincerest condolences here at Matthew Shack Unfiltered go out to the families and uh you know both of those guys have passed away you know young age 55 is not old, you know what I'm saying? It's not. And 20 and 26 is definitely not old. So, um, man, uh, just wanted to just come in and just make it clear that, uh, hey, um, we understand that uh, when you lose players like that, you know, for what other reasons, it's gonna it's gonna affect it's gonna affect the organization. Uh, in regards to Tony Saragusa, you had uh, owner Steve uh, Mushadi come out, uh, the Ravens, give his condolences. Um, you also had uh, Jamal Lewis, uh, former 2,000-yard uh, rusher for, for uh, the Ravens. I think he was the person that announced it or was the one that put it out to the public, if I'm not mistaken. Then you had uh, Dim Jim Ursay, owner of the uh, Colts who actually drafted who actually, uh, actually drafted uh, Tony Saragusa. So, um, man, just crazy, man. Crazy day. And, uh, you know, salute to those guys, man, for, for, for representing the Shield and getting in there and doing a little something, something the way that they know how to do it. So, once again, man, life is short. You don't know what's going to happen from day to day, man. You just have to Appreciate people and give people their flowers while they're here, man. 
All right, man. Love all y'all out there, man. Matthew Shackenfield.